Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2005 Keystone Springdale 295BH Clearwater Edition bunkhouse travel trailer with the Super Slide. I did go through pretty much the whole camper, checking it for dents and any kind of issues. I am going to start on the inside. I'll show you. Uh, one or two spots on the inside and I'll show you a few dinks on the outside but I'm going to do a full walk around on this thing and show you all the features. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on the inside here. There were some upgrades on this camper. As far as the flooring, um, the original owners, at some time, this is the second or third owner travel trailer, but at some time, uh, on one of the previous owners put down a pretty nice plank flooring in the bedroom. I guess rather than having this linoleum, or even it might have even been carpet uh, in the bedroom area, and it just got got worn out. Uh, but uh, this is definitely a nice little upgrade. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll get more into detail on the flooring here in a second. Go ahead and show you the floor plan here. That is a true super slide. It's, uh, I, I believe it's about 12 foot long uh, and it's three foot deep. So this is a true super slide. It does have the hide of bed uh, sleeper sofa. It's a jackknife sofa, which is basically like a futon, the back and bottom lay down. You can sleep two kiddos or one grown adult easily on this. Uh, and then you have the booth dinette, breaks down into a bed. You can definitely sleep two adults or two kids, three kids on this. Um, all the fabrics. On the inside of the camper everything really really is in great condition. For an 05 uh, definitely there's not any uh, wear and tear that you would normally see on a 2005 uh, on a camper this old because we're in 2016 now so uh, definitely this camper has been pretty well maintained. Nice window treatments. This is uh, considered an entry-level trailer, the Springdale line. I sold a lot of these in 2000 and from 2004 to 2009. Uh, they were priced under normally uh, 20 grand, but uh, depending on the floor plan you got. Uh, but uh, the retail sticker on this trailer, if I remember right, it was probably around 17,000 retail sticker on this. Of course, it does have the bunk beds in the back, double bunks. Uh, the bottom bunk here uh, opts as a garage area, which I'll show you when I get outside. There's a door here, and you can lift up this bed, and you can put all your equipment in there. Nice bed. Definitely, you can sleep to adults on this. I think if I remember right, these uh, bunks are normally, Keystone rates them about 200 pounds. Uh, so. Nice pantry area. Lots of storage on this trailer. You do have the six cubic foot gas electric Dometic refrigerator. The owners did uh, have this thing on uh, before I got here, so make sure it was nice and cold. It is cold. In the kitchen area, you, you do have the microwave. I do always check, make sure the digital readout works. Uh, we are hooked up to 30 amp, which is nice. The microwave, you do have the three burner cooktop. Looks like the owner has opted for a nice little cutting board with a rubber mat underneath so it doesn't slip around. It's nice for more counter space. You do have the 22 inch oven, largest in the industry. Nice double sinks. All your drawer fronts are solid wood. You do have the tape deck here, stereo. If you wanted to upgrade it, you can. It's pretty easy to upgrade these. Here's your slide out button. 
for your super slide to slide out in the living room area. I will show you a little sticker on this trailer. It shows all the specs on the camper. Uh, GVWR, gross vehicle weight, weight rating. This is the max it can load or weigh, sorry. 9,620 pounds, that's the max that the axles are rated for in the camper and the chassis. But with this thing dry, uh, when you pull it off of a dealer lot, when it's empty, weighs 6,260 pounds. You want to go by the UVW, unloaded vehicle weight. Looks like fresh water tank on this is 45 gallons. Um, yeah, but uh, anyway, you've got a six gallon uh, gas water heater, which I'll show you on the outside. Go ahead and show you the bathroom area here. Lots of closet space before I go into the bathroom. Show you that. Lots of storage. Nice tub and shower. I do check all campers for water damage, any issues, if I find it, I will point it out. Uh, on this, I did notice two spots on the inside. It's cosmetic. It leaked at one point and uh, the owners took it to a local dealership and had the whole roof resealed. So uh, this is all Luon board and if anybody knows about how the campers are built, they're uh, they try to make them as lightweight as possible, but this is a real thin board and if you get it just a little bit wet It starts to wrinkle up like this, but um, it's just cosmetic on the inside There is no uh, damage as far as the owners know noticed on the uh, a roof because they do get up on it and maintain it But I do point out everything I did check around the toilets I put my weight around the toilet make sure there's no issues with soft flooring in the toilet area and I did check around the plumbing, around the kitchen. Did not find any discoloration. Uh, linoleum turning purple or anything like that, which is normally caused by water damage because possibly the plumbing was not winterized correctly. Uh, I do check around the slide outs. And I'll take my hand and rub it around the slide outs, uh, around the edges, uh, checking for any wrinkling in the wallboard. I did not find any issues. I did notice a little dark uh, discoloration not necessarily staining but I do point out every little thing so uh, sometimes if I don't point it out you wouldn't even notice it it's not soft or anything but uh, anyway it's just a little discolored all the carpets in great condition for 05 and I did check over here and there's nothing over here but a little shadow but uh, anyway, I'm extremely particular when I do my my walkthroughs on these campers checking for water damage all right let's go back in the bedroom area I want to show you something that I did find that the owners actually pointed out to me um, the awning on the outside broke uh, during a high wind the arm came off and the arm is actually bolted somewhere in this area and uh, water got in at one point and softened the floor here but uh, they did take it to the dealership in the area and they uh, removed the the wood flooring underneath this plank flooring and now it's just got a little spongy uh, bounce feel to it but it's really a non-issue but if uh, you know anything about carpentry it's just real basic you can pull up this plank flooring fairly easy in this area just right here uh, real easy to pull it up and if you want it you could just put in a, another piece of plywood underneath here but anyway the issue as far as leaking has been taken care of uh, a long time ago so it's just anyway I do like to point out everything. I did check all the closets for any water damage, any warping. Did not find any issues. I check all corners, every nook, cranny, corner, anything like that uh, where, where water damage could be hiding. And I try to try to look for everything. This is basically my opinion of the camper. Uh, uh, overall, definitely, it's in good condition. And this is ducted heat and ducted AC all throughout. This is a, this could be a 15,000 BTU AC unit for a 31 footer, but I'm gonna say it's probably a 13,500 BTU AC unit with a quick dump feature, which is right here. Quickly cools off your camper. 
when you get to the campsite and when it's, start, when it's cool enough, you can close it back and it will get ducted all throughout the camper. So you're comfortable in the bathroom area up to the bedroom area. It's where your TV will go. It's a cable ready. They did upgrade around the step area just to accent it because that just was linoleum. I'm assuming they just did it just to make it a little bit more residential. I'll go ahead and show you the outside here. As I was saying about that awning arm, uh, this awning arm during a high wind, they had the previous owners had the awning out and it and it ripped this awning arm out and this bracket and two holes were left and anyway, water got in uh, and, and just basically softened the floor in that small area. It's about a foot by one foot uh, area where I showed you on the inside in the bedroom, but that was all taken care of. It's all sealed up. It didn't really cause any damage, which is surprising on the outside next to the awning arm mount here. But uh, anyway, this is a 31 footer. This is a full profile travel trailer. It's not a low profile, so you've got a lot of headroom inside. Uh, I will show you on the awning. It's, uh, I believe, this may be a 16 foot awning. Uh, 18 maybe uh, and it's brand new the awning is brand new the awning uh, the owners uh, recently replaced that excellent condition I do check all decals all the decals really are in, in good condition for 2005 mostly uh, most decals in 05s on a travel trailer anything older than 10 years they're always faded or curled up but there's no curling or fading there is uh, one of the decals on the front. The owners told me before I came out, they said uh, they took it off because it was peeling. But uh, other than that, most of the decals are really in great condition. Or good condition. Because I do classify this trailer as being good condition. As I said, I'm extremely particular as far as when I uh, do my walk-arounds. I do check uh, on these aluminum corrugated skin trailers. I do check for hail damage. Just shoot down the side here and you can look for little dinks there are a few dents on this minor dents that I will show you but uh, it's normal wear and tear this is your six gallon gas water heater if you want to make it gas and electric there's a little aftermarket kits that are, are fairly inexpensive and uh, where your plug or your anno rod would go you take that out and it's a little heater rod that you plug in it's so if you did want electric option on your water heater you can do that all the tires are fairly new. The owners just replaced them last year. Uh, the DOT, I always try to show you how to look for DOT on the tires. DOT, if it shows up on this video here, um, there it is. A little circle with four numbers in it right by the rim. It's the 15th week of 2014. That's when the tire was uh, manufactured. I checked all the DOT on all the tire, all four tires. They're all the exact same. 15th week of 2014. All the tires are excellent condition. A little muddy, but um, I, don't, I believe they hardly have any miles on them at all. Uh, the owners did tell me about uh, they clipped into the mailbox uh, and they put a piece of duct tape over it. I told them to clean this up and they could seal it up. It is already sealed and I told them just uh, what dealers will do if there's anything like this, just little little dents or something they'll put um, a reflector or a marker light cover and I told the owner he can go to Home Depot or something just get a reflector a marker marker light cover put one on this side and put one on the other side it's a non-issue but they did have duct tape on it and I told him that's the worst thing you can do is put duct tape or any kind of adhesive on the skin of a camper so they're gonna clean that up all right I will show you the garage area which is really cool lots of storage bed lifts up with a gas strut which is nice a lot of them you have to hold it up but uh, you can load up all sorts of stuff tents tarps chairs whatever and then when you get to the campsite and you're, you unload and get everything out then you pop this thing back down and pretty much uh, it's sleeping for definitely two kiddos in the back and this does lock uh, the owners did put uh, new stabilizer jacks on on the rear. Uh, they're notorious for rusting and getting all bent up and stuff.
does have a looks like the bike mount which was something that they that was an added feature that definitely wasn't standard on the Keystone Springdale line uh, pretty cool so it is a bike rack uh, bumper mounted you do have the spare tire which I believe was an option during uh, 2005 on the Keystone Springdale line. It's this 30 amp service. The owners did put a pretty neat uh, ex uh, 30 amp extension cord on this. It's about a 20 foot extension cord on to the already 15 foot cord that came standard on this. So uh, that's a neat thing. It was a good $30 cord that they purchased for that. And I do believe that goes with it. As I said, all the decals are in great condition. Pretty much all of them. Uh, There's your super slide, three foot deep. And yeah, it's uh, probably about 12 foot long. Super slides are normally 12 foot to 15 foot, I believe. Um, this was upgraded as far as your dump valves, which is pretty cool. The Vatera uh, gate valves, all every, the original ones were leaking. So they went ahead and upgraded your gate valves. All brand new, really nice uh, uh, gate valves or dump valves for your sewer tank, your toilet tank, and your uh, shower tank. Here's your new stabilizer jacks. City hookup and freshwater hookup. I believe I said it was a 45 gallon freshwater holding tank on this. And I do want to point out, uh, I believe on 05 they offered the Easy Lube Dexter axles on this. So you take off the center plastic cap and you've got a grease fitting where you can grease your axles. Show you down the other side, show you that there's no hail damage. Oh, I will show you, I, I do try to point out everything. Little tiny dent right here. Let's see if I can show it down the other side here. I can't even show it in the video. Anyway. And the roof was, uh, was treated, sealed by the dealership. Uh, as I said, uh, pointed out in the bathroom, when they noticed something was going on, they immediately took it to the dealership and uh, they retreated the whole roof. Little wrinkling right here, little dents. As I say, I point out everything, but th this is normal wear and tear, really. You do have dual 20 pound LP tanks, which came standard on this. Uh, this cover was an option. Uh, definitely didn't come standard with the Springdale line on the clear water line, but uh, definitely a nice feature to have, keep uh, your tanks from rusting out. Uh, the battery, I believe the battery, the owners told me they're, it's about three years old, but uh, anyway. And there's the front decal that they removed there. It's, originally said Springdale and I think there was like a little mountain scene but um, they offered lousy decals for uh, the actual Keystone logo uh, I know for a fact in 2005 six and sevens and they normally peeled or faded uh, they just went in and just took it off but if you wanted to put the original decal back on you could get them through any dealership for probably 20 bucks and just put them on yourself anyway uh, I think I pretty much went around this camper pretty thoroughly so uh, if you have any questions you can just call the number on the ad if you want to see the camper call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner uh, and if you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate it if you're on YouTube give us a thumbs up uh, you can always follow us on YouTube Facebook Pinterest and Twitter to keep up to date on any RVs coming in the Louisville area on to help sell my RV thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video